Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. I'm Emily if you're new here, but today is Gareth's birthday and I'm going to be decorating the house, making him a cake, and I thought I would bring you guys along to do that with me. First of all, I'm actually going to start making his cake. We're gonna do a chocolate cake. I will put the recipe in the description box down below, but I will also talk you through it and put it on screen when I'm doing each ingredient. Um, just if you want to make a cake at home, you can follow this recipe. And then I just need to pop into town, go get a couple more pieces and then decorate the house. So let's start the day. So first of all, I'm going to be doing 350 grams of um, unsalted butter. So that is a full block of this. Plus another 100 grams of another one. So then we need a 350 grams of caster sugar. Then we have 80 grams of cocoa. I'm then going to be adding a bit of kettle water to this chocolate just to make a paste and that should activate the cocoa. Mmm, that smells so good. Look how rich and creamy that looks as well. Now we're going to be adding uh, six eggs into this mixture. We now have 270 grams of self-raising flour. And 45 grams of milk chocolate and 45 grams of dark chocolate. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. So I then put the um, saucepan on a low heat and just add my mixed chocolate. So I've separated this mixture into three different, into three even um, layers. So first layer is going in. So we're now onto the buttercream and we do double the amount of icing sugar than we do to the butter. I'm making quite a lot because I'm actually making two cakes today. One for Gareth to take into work and then one for us. So I'm actually doing um, 460 grams of butter. Um, so I'll be doubling that to the icing sugar. So once each layer of the cake has been cooled, I add a thin layer of buttercream in between each layer of the cake before I then place um, all the buttercream around the outside as well. So once I actually started decorating the cake with this buttercream, I realised I was being a little bit wishful thinking I could decorate it the way I wanted. So I ended up just doing a really um, simple design using a piping kit and the buttercream I have been using and just did a really simple piping around the edges of the cake. Good 
good morning so it is now the next day i had planned to vlog a lot more of yesterday however the cake did take me a little bit longer than i had planned so everything else seemed to be a little bit of a rush and a bit hectic and i also forgot my camera so i am sorry about that this has turned into a baking tutorial so if you did follow along the recipe i really hope your cake turned out well as was delicious um, but I really do hope you've liked this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future vlogs. But thank you so much for your support and I will see you all next one.